uh, we're in the icebreaker time now. So let's see, what do we have for icebreakers? I have a couple of yeah. generic demographics icebreakers. Let's see what people are. So how does this work? So if you are registered, you should have a link to this note.coderefinery.org document. You should be able to switch to edit mode and then basically write stuff here. So this is the way we use to communicate. So instead of the Twitch chat, which is linear, you can come here, you can answer questions, or ask questions in any order. We have a section for questions, which is appearing down here and answer and ask anytime. So yeah, let's see what people say. There was a good icebreaker from last night. What was it? How would you explain <laughs> HPC to someone from a hundred years ago? Should we add that there? I'm adding it. Okay. There we go. We see it coming. This is so difficult. Like, I mean, in the 19th century, there used to be some calculators. So maybe that would be the metaphor for. And they are probably like steam, steam operated, right? Steam machines that keep this going. Yeah. And then we need a mechanism to send <laughs> messages from you know one yeah. steam factory to the to the other, like some conveyor belts or something. That's the network, and they all just work together. Maybe the industrial revolution, is that like a metaphor for HPC? Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. I mean, or, I the guess... print, or the printing machines that, you know, that you're able to in parallel print the same book. Yeah. I guess the high performance part well, computing part, we have to explain what computing is to someone from uh, a hundred years ago. I, th I guess there's probably some mechanical calculators as an analogy. I think so. These, these ones with the, you know, the, yeah. the wheel that so can, you could sum and subtract. Yeah. So can we say we made that much, much, much faster and all using electricity? <laughs> and then say for the high performance part, say, we can't make one of these fast enough, so we make a lot of them, and then they communicate together really efficiently. Hmm. Electricity existed back then, right? Well, like saying there's te electric technically, <laughs> technically, it's electricity has been there before us, but. <laughs> Did telegraphs but, yeah. exist back then? I think it's the last few decades of the 19th century, I think. Let me check. Yeah. No, actually, it was 1835. Okay. The, so... the Morse. Or, yeah. No, yeah. that was the Morse code. But anyway, anyway yeah. yeah. It's exciting to be here because we've been planning and discussing this course for maybe, I don't know, two years <laughs> or something like that. And today, finally, it's happening. So what would you say is the spirit of this course? Like, why are you here? What do you, what's the thing about what we do? Well, I don't know, at least I've never seen something like this that we are putting together in, the, in this four episode in a sense that We've been running and I'm sure we've been taking part to introductory courses to HPC. But at the end of the day, okay, good. You learn the, those commands that you need to run, but it's the daily struggling with working with these clusters and remote and local. And so something that I guess everyone has just learned by doing on, on their own or by watching others. So I wish I had this type of introduction i don't know 15 yeah. years ago when i started yeah i'd say it's best practices filtered by people at different centers so really taking 
the most common, most useful. And I think what, what is so fun is that we will see that many, many things are really similar across all the centers. We will also probably see that some things are not a little bit different. As instructors, we hope that they are not, we, we will not, we are a little bit afraid that uh, <laughs> some things that we assume the work works everywhere might not work everywhere. Yeah. But it's also to me the first, first time that we try something like this cross border, trying to distill out what is, what is it that is common and what can we learn from all of us and can we somehow abstract away um, the, the details mm -hmm. and, and focus on the big picture. So for me, the course is really about the big picture. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do any of you know about other courses which actually use multiple, like is taught and have participants with access to multiple different clusters by different organizations and the course might work for them not across borders no i guess maybe our june kickstart course is the closest then yeah and even that is yeah but yeah so during that june kickstart course something we always heard was people it was a basic course where people saw well how to get started but then there's a lot of people who want some lessons about how we actually use like what's the advanced side of things which is a little bit hard to teach because if you have basic people just learning the cluster and command line and advanced people you can't really easily serve both audiences at the same time so here what we've done is this is not a basic course and in fact, a lot of things you see might be too advanced to really fit in one thing together. But I mean, not too advanced for most people here, for, for everyone here to do, but instead it's cool demos, like how we actually use it. You can see, get some ideas and then go back and study yourself. Okay, did I finally say that properly? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so, what's the topics for today? Who's who are the teachers? Is it Diana and Radovan. So the first part will be Diana and me, and the second part is Jano and Simo. Um, and today we talk about resource use. Okay. We will do a super brief in intro into what is high performance computing, but really like in one minute, in two minutes. Mm -hmm. And then how do we how do we use resources really in a good way? How how should we approach it? And what are the different dimensions there? So we will talk about number of cores amount of memory, time, mm -hmm. and then input output. So how should we think about reading from disk and writing to, to disk? And I saw some really cool pictures last night, which were like, well, made by Radovan, such an amazing metaphor for what the cluster is doing. So yeah, and there are different possible analogies. We might mention some of the, some of them just to get a real world yeah. uh, analogy to what's going on. Mm. 